Hello, Sensei. Hello, Minister. Um, I was not able to be in the class live today, so I am doing my presentation via this video. Um, jumping right on in, um, Tony San writes that the Buddha was a revolutionary, fearless, skillful, and compassionate. Um, he goes on to write that the Buddha um, the, offered us a better way of living um, that had uh, advantages over and living a, uh, in a, the life of an ascetic, you know, of, uh, these hermits or these people that go off and live in these caves and learn how to do all these deep practices. Um, what he taught us was, after doing all those practices, he taught us um, a better way of living that just brings more happiness into our life. Um, and I think that this is important because this is something that uh, Reverend Kubuse continues to teach us in everything that he that he has a study, which is um, to bring Buddhism into real life and make it applicable to your life. You know, I, I don't think it's wise that you know to leave our families and go sit in a cave for five years, seven years. Um, I don't think that's gonna bring happiness or make things better for us. I think the Buddha already did that for us and showed us a better way. Um, he writes that the Buddha broke the status quo through fearlessness, skillfulness, and compassion. And I think that people sometimes forget just how you know how much fearlessness and skillfulness goes into being compassionate. I think people forget um, you know, they, they see compassion as a weakness, but really you have to be very strong to be compassionate. Um, Scott San goes on to write that the, the Buddha is like a tsunami spreading wisdom and awareness. Um, and then he goes on to write at the same time that the Buddha had a tactfulness in teaching. Um, the Buddha adjusted his teaching style to his students. He taught them, uh, you know, in the way that they learned. He didn't teach in just one singular, tubular way, but just in a in a very open way where everybody could, you know, understand him. He saw what his students needed and how they were going to learn, and that's how he taught them. And that's why the Buddha has so many teachings and there's so many sutras based on his teachings. Um, Pia San writes, uh, we're all responsible for spreading peace and awareness. Um, and she and she goes on to say that you don't have to be some special uh, mystical being touched by some unnatural force to, to spread peace and awareness. You can just be yourself. Um, and she goes on to write that in Buddhism we attract rather than promote. Uh, basically we proselytize by our example. And I think that this is probably the... The greatest way that we can spread peace and awareness is by being an example of it. And I think that this is also a stronger way of, uh, of spreading Buddhism versus going door to door knocking and you know, saying, hey, we're the Buddhist missionaries. You know, I, I think that by example, I think people will come when and, and when they do come, they'll be they'll be ready. They'll be more prepared because it, it's something that they'll be looking for. Jason Song goes on to write, uh, in order to transform the mind, we have to practice constantly. We have to do it over and over and over again and, and not get discouraged and just realize that um, this practice is going to make us stronger, it's going to make us better, it's going to make us happier people. Um, a lot of times I compare this and bring it into the world, into the real world, I, I compare it to, to my job and in my job, we have systems that we have in place, and these systems are so that uh, the business will function and operate uh, to its maximum potential, and these systems have been proven to work over and over, and all we have to do is put the systems in place, and then just do them over and over. It's nothing, it's nothing, you know, it's nothing incredibly hard um, other than doing it over and over and having that endurance, and and refreshing ourselves and motivating ourselves and I think that I think that the Buddhism you know the Buddha taught this in the same way he created these systems whether you want to call it the Eightfold Path 
the Four Noble Truths. These systems help us to live a better life. They help us to, to be happier. Um, we just have to do them over and over again. Um, then uh, Jason Sun writes that the ideal ruler rules by virtue, not by might. By virtue. And I think that this goes back again to being an example. I think that if you're in a, a solid example of peace, awareness, virtue, um, I believe that people will follow you. People will listen to you. People will be happy to be around you. You know, um, I remember a few years ago I went uh, to a seminar and it was a seminar about positivity. And one of the things that they said was <laughs> whenever you're feeling sad or down, Go hang around with a positive person. Go hang around with someone that's happy and laughing and upbeat, you know, because uh, these things are contagious, you know, whether good things, bad things, you know. So let's let's spread peace and awareness. Thank you so much. Until the next time.